How to show ROI from your SEO work. If you work in SEO or online marketing, you probably already know what I'll be talking about. But if you're new to online marketing or having issues showing the value of your work, this might help you out a bit. First, I need your help. The producers of DMM have decided to knock the moon out of orbit and tractor it towards Earth, where it will cause cataclysmic and unstoppable damage, the likes of which we've never seen. Unless you like, subscribe, post, and share this with all your friends, and aggressively get them to do the same. You can help save our planet from certain doom. All you have to do is click your mouse or touch your screen. Now, you may have heard a client say something like this, if I'm getting all this traffic, where are all my customers? Or, how do I know your work is doing anything for me? You know, they'd say like an awesome person named Chaz or Karen. I'm going to put it out there. It's not always easy proving your worth as an online marketer when you're first starting out, especially if you're working for a large enterprise level project. If you don't know what you're doing, it can be tough to find easy ways to just pop into pretty much any analytics platform and say, boom, there's where your traffic's coming from and there's where they convert. You need a tracking plan. If you don't have a solid tracking plan in place, you might get stuck on one of the questions I mentioned earlier. Or even worse, you could lose the faith of your client. If you can't speak to the value you're providing a client, it's easy to lose their interest. And keeping their interest and making them excited about what you're doing is pretty much the unspoken job description of a good marketer. A good business should be tracking leads on their own, whether they use a CRM, sales tracking, or whatever method they've found useful to help them run the business. In any case, it's good to have a solid tracking plan in place so you can show ROI to a client at a moment's notice, without them having to consult their own tracking tools or monthly reports. One of the main reasons you should track your work in progress is that anyone experienced or not can start a business. This doesn't mean inexperienced owners can't end up with a great business, but it can mean, if the business isn't performing how they imagined it would, anyone they hire while they are adapting to their business legs may get the axe due to the lack of experience, even if any underperformance has nothing to do with the marketing. On the other side of the fence, you might find yourself talking to a CEO or owner that doesn't have much time for your explanations. When that happens, you need to get used to boiling down what you are saying to make sense on their level. Usually that involves speaking in monetary gains, and how that directly relates to traffic. Let's explore a few methods of showing value in your SEO work to hopefully help you mitigate bad client experiences. Show SEO ROI with Google Analytics goals. For SEO, setting up goals in Google Analytics is probably the most basic way to show value in your work. Seeing how a website is performing with clicks, form fills, and landing pages can be a really valuable set of tools, especially if you want to show progress beyond overall organic traffic and keyword rankings. For most goals, I would recommend Google Tag Manager, or GTM for short. It can be slightly confusing at first, but it's probably the best and easiest way to set up goals in the long run. Alternatively, you can set up goals by hard coding tracking into your links, but a lot of site builders won't allow hard coding of this type anymore, so you might as well just go with GTM. With goals in place on a site, you can easily refer to them anytime you need to show ROI to a client. You can even assign a value to them so you can give an estimate of ROI they might be seeing from your services. Show SEO ROI with Google Analytics annotations. Need to show value without goals? Easy, as long as you have a few things in place first. And you may not even need all of these once you're used to showing ROI in your SEO. A form that retains a history of submissions. A page you can track organic traffic on where a submission form lives. A Google Analytics annotation of what you did and when. Using the annotated timestamp from your SEO work and showing the subsequent organic growth is a pretty concrete sign of how your work is impacting the business. Combine that with some clever Excel sheet magic about how it relates to ROI, and you've got yourself some good leverage for justifying your existence alongside someone's business. If you have a history of work or an email chain of custody for when you optimize something, you can even add annotations retroactively if you need to. Show SEO ROI with page visits. Usually using the annotation combined with going to the behavior, site content, all pages section of Google Analytics can show ROI on page visits. You can also combine info to drill down even further using the number of visits to a page, submissions or clicks, and using a cost per lead model to figure out how much you are potentially making your client. Finally, showing ROI by combining the above methods and the magic that is Excel or Google Sheets. It's a continuing goal of mine to show value without having to showboat, brag, or even point out the work that I'm doing. I want my work to speak for itself. Like I said earlier though, helping your clients become excited about what you're doing is a great way to help them stay engaged. In order to do that, 
I've had to be able to quickly and easily show the value of my work. Sometimes you just need to know how to do it in a spreadsheet or just be able to open up your analytics and be able to show them right there. Even if it's something as simple as this spreadsheet. Now these numbers are a bit exaggerated because I wanted to get my point across, but you get the point. It's basically telling you how to get from point A to point Z in this is how much traffic you're getting, this is where your traffic is landing, and this is how it impacts your sales numbers. For more information on this and other subjects relating to digital marketing, please visit our YouTube channel. To get a quote or if you have more questions, please just give us a call, 719-577-4404. I'm Brett, this was Digital Marketing Mixology. Have yourself a great day!